Sun coming up, got cakes on the griddle. I've eaten nothing but a funny, funny riddle. Thank God I'm a country boy. Hello, Americans. Another friends and subscribers around the world. As you can see, it is uh, snowing again here on the homestead on this second day of 2017. And, uh, I'm trying to figure out. Look at this thing. I'm trying to figure out the best route to uh, shovel my way to that roof because that. Uh, well, that sounds like the best one. I hear a cat over there. I can come on in and do it real quick. But. Uh, that roof, that's the one over the back side of the shop, basically just a storage area. But I got tons of tools and all kinds of stuff in there. And that is the very first thing that I put up on the homestead when we came up here. Uh, well, when I bought this place in the middle of July and we pulled the um, gypsy wagon up here, the motorhome. And I had it parked over there on the other side. And then it was so dang hot, and we were actually making trips coming back and forth from down the flatlands. And I built that one more of a sun cover. And all I used is I went up and got some lodge poles and picked up metal out here in the, the field and didn't put no um, slats or decking at all, you know, just used this metal so it's got the, you know, between the metal like that. And then I put black plastic over it to, um, you know, couple of the holes because there's a lot of holes in it so that one the support so anyway it's supposed to snow here now it's supposed to snow uh, uh, man they're talking snow for uh, the rest of the day and then it's supposed to take a break and then Wednesday it's supposed to snow the extreme cold temperatures have now went away so that's awesome you know it's supposed to still get down to like two or something but that eight and ten below has went away so that's good, but, uh, I don't know if this is the best route, but, anyway, and then they're talking by the weekend, or over the weekend, it's supposed to warm up, and chance of, uh, I don't know if we'll get up here, but a chance of rain. Right now, this stuff is, uh, pretty dry, you know, it's one way to test it, because it just won't, you can't really make a snowball with it, so it's dry snow, but if it warms up, then it's going to get wet, and then it's going to get heavy. Like I said, man, that this is the first year I've been too concerned about uh, buildings, but if there's any that I would be concerned to be that, which it's all, that whole thing's getting tore out and redone this spring anyway, so if it fell in, I guess I'd have a bunch of firewood. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm going to try to figure out, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep going this path or if I'm going to go around the other side and see about it. Then I got to Another order for a, another spike knife, so that pre-order's working pretty good, so I'll get, I'll get to dig it back out. You can see, we, last night we ended up getting another four inches, still snowing. So, just a beautiful day on the homestead. Alright, so after walking around and all that, figured out the best way was up. That's the best route. All the way around this, I'm gonna have to shovel so much anyway. So, all right, so that there's what I'm gonna shovel in the cook house. I'm gonna get on the shovel shed, as you can see. Need to put me a dang tree for it up here. There. One thing, man, with this pole, I can, uh, just stick it, stick the camera anywhere. Gotta be dang careful. Another thing, if you fall, man, at least it's a soft leather. 
Heck, get out of here, Joe. Can't find no bottle. telling me says man you should put more pitch on that them roofs well, I thought about it Ben you know you can put a lot of pitch but uh, for the other day I actually took a picture I never sent it to him of an A-frame house in town and uh, that A-frame has this much snow just like that and it's still got probably three foot of snow because it don't matter what kind of roof you got. If you get a, you know, a little bit of snow and it sticks and warms up or a warm snow and it sticks and then ices up, it don't matter. I mean, you can look at some of the metal and stuff that I have straight up and down. Um, once the ice sticks to that, and then you get that wet snow, and it starts sticking, it just starts building. I don't care how steep it is. I would like to do one A-frame with the house. I lived in an A-frame for a while. On the mountain. on the ground man I ain't gonna have no somebody said it's gonna look like I live in an igloo Look how quiet it is. I was just read the deal on that. That's pretty interesting. It's quiet. Living the dream, baby. Living the dream.
funny thing is, is property that I wanted up in the pine trees up above. And, uh, I drove by there going to McCall, that piece of property. One with the cricks through it in one of the old videos you see it. But they uh they get eight foot up there. So bad. I'd rather be doing this than shoveling sidewalks in the flatlands. I ain't got no sidewalks to shovel and I ain't got no grass to mow. Got that, so about uh, seven eighths of the way, got this thing shoveled off. This other side, I'm just kidding, you walk over there. You just walk off just like I was a kid. I could put a sled here and I could just slide <laughs> down, but I crashed into that wall. Then I thought just for fun I'd jump off there, but then I remember there's a motorcycle under there, so <laughs> I don't, oh, that, really, that I don't really want no handlebars or anything up the duty. That one that you were saving for a winter project to tear apart? Yeah, that was my winter project. It's under yeah. There. That's funny. So, I won't be tearing that motorcycle apart until yeah. spring. When we walk back, after we film that over there, baby, we bring me, uh, grab one of those short pieces of metal, and I'll pull this piece of pipe out here. Okay. Because all it's doing is dumping snow in the shop. Where's the short piece of metal I'll at? I'll swing up against the door to this. Okay. Oh, yeah, let me go, and then you can continue. Can I dump this right on you? Yeah, am I going to be able to get back into the cabin? You're going to fill up the pathway? What if I dump this on you? That would not be would funny. Would you be upset with me? I think so. But you'd be so cute. You'd have little... No. Hmm. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> okay. I'll wait. Yucky. I'll wait. Hey, Yucky, now. Yeah, another side. Like it was when I was a kid up in McCall. Yeah, look at this. Where you shoveled here, you can see the full height of the snow sitting on there. Yeah, this side it's piled all the way up to the so roof. Yeah, that's how the cabin used to be. And you'd yeah. Up. So you could sled down off this, but then crash into that wall. That yeah, was. that would not be fun. All right. So, as you can see here, this is the part when you shovel roofs. It's kind of a bummer because then you got to get down and shovel your. Uh, pathways again so that but as you can see that roof shoveled off so now I'm going to I'm going to get up just just cuz I'm going to get up and shovel that one I'm not worried about at all because like I've said that one's built like a brick house but I am gonna get up the shed I'm not worried about either because it's built good the trailer um, I'm definitely going to get up that's gonna be my next deal I'm gonna shovel because you have any of them trailers first of all travel trailer motorhome fifth wheel any of that you should cool sill every year you know I should practice what I preach because I did not cool sell cool sill this and I even have a gallon in the cabin but you should cool sill them every year and you know, distributed weight, you know, they're built all right. I got the other one. See Kevin D's roof out there. That one I ain't worried about at all. That other trailer, I really don't care because I'm tearing that whole thing apart and going to build a little cabin on it anyway. But this one's got all my storage. It's got 
I don't know, a couple thousand bucks probably in that one. So I'm going to shovel that one because there is the chance when it gets really heavy that that one could cave in. Shouldn't, but it could. And the uh, whole motorhome should probably be shoveled off too. But uh, anyway, so right now I'm actually going to go in here and work on some uh, carving knives. Um, dig out my blacksmith area. Clean up this, first I'm cleaning up this path. I'm going to work on that and i got to pound out a couple of uh, railroad spike knife and pound out a couple other knives and some wood carving knives. So check out all those and we'll do a check in. I guess this was just a snow day on the homestead, baby. Y'all have a wonderful day. Be careful.